Hello everybody, happy Thursday. I can't believe a week has nearly gone already. I've realised that as the vlogs go on, you will soon realise from my little morning things that I have kind of a routine. I don't do anything very different in the morning. <laughs> Ready, I've gone for my run and I've made myself a little green tea and I thought I would sit with you and have a little chat because today is World Mental Health Day. And I have sort of realised, as you're going to watch this, it's not anymore, it's the day after. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't have to, you, we can talk about mental health any day of the year, any time, you know. It doesn't have to be narrowed down to one day. But I did want to have a little chat about it because it's something that I feel very strongly about. And it's something that I feel very strongly about spreading awareness and opening up the conversation to talk about it even though nowadays it's a lot more talked about than it was you know it's still something that can always be worked on things can always be worked on please excuse me if this is a bit bit of a ramble or i get my words like muddled up but i wanted to like keep it not too edited just like let's have a chat now one thing like, I feel very strongly about it because I have dealt with mental illnesses from a very young age. So the majority of my life has spent with me having a mental illness. And I originally, I didn't get help until I'd spent a long time with it until I decided to reach out and get help because I was just really scared. And now after, I've had four, I'm on my fourth round of therapy and I just would encourage you to speak out if you're struggling, even if you feel like it's not like, you don't have to be dealing with depression or anxiety or PTSD or OCD to feel like, some people feel like because their problems aren't at that point that they can't talk out or they feel like, oh, there's no, why do I like, feel a bit like, oh, well, my problems aren't as bad as other people, so you can't talk out. Trust me, you can, because it's best, otherwise it is gonna grow and manifest in you. So always talk to people, if you're just feeling, even if you're just feeling a little worried about something or you're feeling a little bit down, not like yourself, Try to talk to somebody, whether that's a teacher, somebody at work, family, friend, or there's so many helplines. In my description, I put a link to the organisation Mind, and they have a list of all the helplines you can go to. So trust me when I say there is somebody that will listen. If you feel like you've got nobody in your life that will listen, please contact these services because they will help. Every, there is there is somebody to talk to so my personal I feel a bit vulnerable talking about this because I have talked about it briefly on my channel but not in too much depth but I feel like if I I tend to watch videos or if I see TikToks or YouTube videos of people people talking about their mental health it almost makes me feel a little bit more like less lonely and like oh so it's not just me so if I can also, I have, I've got squash sitting next to me, so if you can hear a bit of like scratching every now and then, it's my cat. But anyway, this is what I mean. I go really off topic very easily, so this might all seem muddled. Um, what was I saying? But if I can like talk about it to you guys, and someone's watching this, and they may relate in some way. I mean, it's one person and they relate to like one second of this chat then that's fine with me that's enough me personally I have depression I have anxiety and I have OCD and OCD is something that for I actually have only just at the beginning of this year therapist because for so long I felt really embarrassed by it and once I told him he made me feel completely at ease and like it, it's not um it's not just you this is you know this is something that people deal with and you're not silly you're not stupid it doesn't sound silly 
and I would instantly put at ease. OCD comes in many forms, but for me personally, it's probably the one that frustrates me the most. Very close with my anxiety, but OCD, it's just because I know that so in, in for me it manifests in ways of having to do things a certain amount of times or if I put something down or touch something sometimes it just doesn't feel right and I have to put it down again and again until it feels right or I have to turn it and then turn it that way so a lot of things for me yeah manifest in I have to lock the door but I have to lock it eight times when I come out the bathroom I have to tap the door eight times and if that doesn't feel right then I'll do it another eight times and there's a lot of things that I, everything has to be even numbers um, or something won't close right. And no particular reason, but in my head, I'm like, that doesn't feel right. I need to close that door again or I need to twist that mug around again. Oh, but then that I've only done that once. so I've got to do it twice. Oh, but that doesn't feel right. So I've got to... it's very difficult to explain. But if anybody's dealing with that, then trust me, it's not silly. It's not stupid. And for me, in my head, I have to do these things because it's very. This is the thing I was embarrassed to say to my therapist. I had to do it because literally in my head, I think something terrible is going to happen and not something little like I'm like one of my family members or friends is going to get ill an accident's going to happen if I don't do this and that is why I was so embarrassed to say to him and once I got it out and he spoke to me I was like why was I embarrassed to say that so if anybody feels that way it's really not embarrassing it's not silly it's it's something that you deal with every day and that's not silly you know it's as simple as that if you deal with it it's not silly if you're going through it then it's not it's not silly because you you believe it and you have to deal with this. And it's in my head, I'm like, realistically, I know that's not gonna happen. Like if I don't touch, tap the door eight times, someone's not gonna suddenly fall ill, but you're just like, oh, I'm gonna do it anyway, just in case. Like it's so, it's very, like I feel if it's very lonely because I don't really have anybody in my life that can understand it. They support me and they help me, but they can't understand it. And I don't even really understand it. So I do deal with that a lot. And it took me a long time to talk out about that. So if anyone watching this feels a certain way or they they think they might have OCD, but they're not too sure, or they're a bit, oh, I don't want to speak out about it because I don't want to sound stupid or I don't want to be embarrassed myself trust me it's not embarrassing please reach out to somebody and you know get help talk about it open up anxiety is something that I've had for literally as long as I can remember I have panic disorder as well which is I've only dealt with that for the past three years I've had anxiety like <laughs> you know for years and years and years to the point where I left school actually because of anxiety and depression I didn't finish school and I would not leave the house I don't wouldn't go anywhere on my own honestly still now I don't really go anywhere on my own um, unless I go for a walk or a run and when I do that I make sure I go away where I won't see anybody <laughs> and it's like deserted and I go the same way every single time and a panic disorder is something that I haven't dealt with the whole time I've had anxiety. It's only the past year or so that I have been having constant panic attacks and they're the most scary thing in the world to me. You honestly feel like you're going to die. And if anybody is watching this that has panic attacks, you'll know what I mean. It's scary. You think you're, you think you're dying because of all the physical sensations. And I'm currently working with my therapist on noticing the physical sensations. And physical symptoms and understanding that they can't harm you but when you're in that moment it's so difficult to understand it and then it's this cycle of you panic and then you get the physical sensations of it and then you think you're dying and then you panic and then it's just a like a whole cycle but one thing I have tried to engrave in my brain is panic attacks will pass they will so I know at the time it feels like you're gonna like pass out and you know they will pass and they can't harm you that's one thing my therapist always says panic attacks cannot 
a panic attack won't hurt you physically even though it definitely feels like it's going to and I've actually ended up in hospital a few times because of panic attacks and it's very scary so if you are dealing with that then you're absolutely not alone in that there's so many people that go through that and I really encourage you to try and um, some breathing exercises, some relaxation exercises, things like that. There's so many resources. If I can find any, I will, um, or charities that have links to them, I will try and link as much as I can down below to help any of you. And then depression. Where do we even start that? The hardest thing is feeling sad, but not knowing why you're sad. And it's not even just, I feel a bit sad you feel deeply, you feel a deep rooted sadness constantly and you don't know why. You could be having a really good day, you could be, things could be going really well in your life but you still feel the sinking feeling and you almost feel guilty because you're like, everything's going good, I should be happy but why don't I feel happy? And it can make you feel really lonely and alienated from everybody. And it's just, it is, it's lonely. And you can, it makes you feel like there's no way out. I promise you, there is a way out. I'm chatting to you about this and opening up to you about sort of things I deal with and stuff, but I'm very surface level sharing it. There's so much, like, I can't explain to you. Like, I understand that some people think there's no other way out but trust me there really is even if it doesn't seem like it at the time because it won't seem like it at the time it won't at all you know that's unfortunately that's the way it is it won't feel like there's any way out but there is even if you just keep going for the tiniest thing your pet or you need to just find tiny tiny things because there is so much to live for there really is live to get better just reach out to somebody and talk and time, all, I've learned that time will, time can really help and you've got to give yourself that time, don't cut your time off, time really does heal and make things a little easier it gives you time to realize that there is more to life than what you're feeling at the moment time makes you realize that there's people that want to help you and there is ways that you can get better and just because you are dealing with something now does not mean you'll be dealing with it forever i promise you that and i feel like i'm really rambling and sort of going over things to go and just saying the same thing all the time but I just wanted to like have a little chat with you I know and you know tell you things that I deal with day to day because it doesn't I don't tend to show it much on social media because the last thing I sort of want to do at the time of dealing with those things is put a camera in my face <laughs> purely but I am very aware that opening up about it and talking about things that you are dealing with behind the scenes is important because otherwise you know, because sometimes people can look at people's lives and think, oh, that's great, and they make them feel more alone because they're like, why am I feeling like this and stuff like that? So I just wanted to have a chat with you, and I've said it a thousand times in this clip, but please just know that you're absolutely not alone. My DMs or comments are always open. If you just want to chat, if you just need a little cheer, like cheering up, you know, and please use the resources that I link down below. I will link them down below in every vlog coming up. And I have been for the past few vlogs. So they're always there if you need them. You have been thinking about starting therapy or you're struggling with things and you've been thinking about talking to somebody about it, friend, teacher, work colleague, family member, or you've been thinking about reaching out to a service, please take this as your little motivational sign to do that. Trust me, it, you know, that's the first, squashy, that's the first step. And if you do that, I'm so proud of you. Even if it's nothing that you think is affecting you that badly and you just feel a little bit down in the dumps, go and text somebody. Or if you, or on the other hand, 
I encourage people, friends, family members, work colleagues, just give them a little text, ask them how they're doing. Like, are you okay? Are you really okay? Or how have you been feeling lately? And just, just check up on the people, check up on people, even if they seem like they're absolutely fine, check up on people. Cause sometimes they're the ones that need checking up on the most. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to start the day, the vlog off just with a little chat like that. I hope you didn't mind. I hope I didn't sound all over the place because my mind is all over the place, honestly, sometimes. I haven't even taken a sip of my tea. But yeah, let's get on with the daily vlog. And I've got to drink my green tea and do some college work. I really need to do some college work. I'm also, mm, I'm absolutely freezing to down my run. Oh my goodness. So this tea is just like, Mm, lovely. I'm thinking about maybe if I've got the time, I want to go down to Morrison's because I want to get my sister and my mum just a little light box of chocolates or something, seeing as it's World Mental Health Day, and just give them to them today and sort of ask them how they're doing, just check up on them, which is something you could do if you want to. And it doesn't have to be World Mental Health Day at all. It even It's even better if it's just randomly. You know, I feel like it means a little more when it's random. You don't have to be go to the extreme and buy them a little box of chocolates or anything, literally just ask them how they're doing. Check up on people, even if it's once a week or whatnot. Um, so yeah, I might go down to the shops to do that today. I also, I don't know if I'll actually get around to it, so don't hold me to this, but I kind of want to make some soup for dinner, some vegetable soup. I love carrot soup. And oh my God, a couple of years ago, I made the most amazing carrot soup and it, oh my gosh, it was delicious. I don't know how I made it. And I can't find a recipe for it. I I don't know. And because I tried to make it again and it didn't work. So I'm going to try and find a nice recipe and make a carrot soup. Obviously not just carrots, but yeah. And have some French stick to dip that in for this evening. I love it when it gets colder because I know it's been October, but it has actually still been fairly warm apart from here and there. So I love that it's getting colder because then we can like make soups. We can have stew, oh my God, or roast dinners. A roast dinner is absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, I need to get some college work done and make a little bit of lunch and I'll update you when I'm doing something that could possibly be at least a little bit interesting. I love you all so much. to go to the shops now I've got so much work done which I'm really happy about and it's so chilly do you know what one thing I really need to get a new one of is a scarf I have a scarf but it's like is it here like, this is like my favorite scarf ever but it's like pink with gray flowers and then this side is gray with pink flowers and it's so big and like cozy but the only issue is it doesn't go very much, which obviously doesn't matter as long as you're warm. But I do want to get another one, like a plain one that can go with everything. I want to get really one of the like, big, thick ones to like, curl up in. I'm not sure what jacket to wear because... Also, I have actually brought a new winter coat, which I will show you guys. And I'm very excited about that. But I know it's cold, but I don't think it's that cold plus i'm wearing an awkward jumper like what goes with this like probably not that but maybe or jacob's fleece <laughs> it is nice and cozy but it's not going to go with what i'm wearing just going to pop on these little boots and i've got like my long floaty like joggers on today <laughs> I'm so cosy. Or to be fair, big puffer coat might be an option. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and get some ingredients for soup. And I'm going to pick up some 
something for my mum and my sister. I think I might just get them like their favourite chocolate bar to be honest. And some French stick. I need to remember the French stick because knowing me, I'll get everything apart from the French stick to dip, dip in the soup. And like I can't have a soup without dipping anything in it. Well I can, but wouldn't be my preference. My big winter puffer coat, honestly, because there's me saying it's not cold enough for my new one and I'm wearing this. Although my new one's quite long, so it like wraps you up. But I always find the days you don't really care about what you look like and you're just like, oh, I'll just chuck anything on, go to the shop and whatnot. Why do you then see everybody you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna, oh God, nearly strangled myself. I am strangling myself on my t-shirt, jumper, sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop this on. Let's pop the glasses back on. I'm so excited because on Tuesday, so literally like, why oh, is it really weird today? So literally like, um, what's today? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So in like four days, I get to pick up my new glasses, which I'm very excited about. The thing is, Let's see what this looks like done up because it's going to be so cold. I'm going to be walking around like this. I think I got this coat from New Look last year. And I do love it though. It's the warmest coat I have and it actually does feel so cosy. It's also, I've seen coats that are really puffy. This is like, to me, just the right thickness. It's not too, too thick, but not too thin to the point it doesn't actually like keep you warm but let's go out in the cold i'm very do i need gloves i feel like gloves is a little bit like much home and I'm gonna make my soup and I found one online and it's on the good food website I will link it down below I will say the only thing that I forgot was celery you needed two celery sticks but I completely forgot them I was literally like right parsnips carrots the cream vegetable stock and celery just completely went out of my mind but I feel like celery is not that much of a strong flavor so if this is good then next time I make it I'm going to add the celery and then I might add some potatoes and spinach and just add some other stuff to it so what we need is I've got garlic I've got thyme parsley some black pepper parsnips carrots vegetable stock cubes and then some double cream obviously you can add I guess you can do it to your own taste you can have whatever like seasonings you want or if you want to add a few more vegetables and things you know so oh and an onion I left the onion over there so it's pretty simple all I'm going to do is cut up the onion at this point you would use the celery as well but obviously I don't have it so I'm going to cut the onion and fry that until it's soft and then you literally, yeah, you fry that you fry that until it's softened and then you add garlic and thyme. You can use fresh garlic, but I just have the garlic granules, so I didn't think there was any point getting a fresh one. And then, yeah, so you add the seasonings, 
cook that for a little bit longer and then you add the carrots, parsnips and stock and then bring it to the boil and then you just sim it for about 20 minutes and then you basically blend it and add your cream in. So hopefully, it sounds simple, um, whether it will turn out like that, I'm not sure. The only thing is with onions, they make my eyes steam. I've also been watching The Haunted Mansion while doing that. So Ramsey, how long I feel you like so many people don't know don't time. know about this film. It's on Disney Plus, and Plus I think it was done in like 2003. So if you're one of the people that know about this film, to do let me know. Why, while I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm going to have a little hot chocolate because I'm going to sit and edit. And I've been meaning to try this for so long, but I haven't wanted to try it without you. I bought the Starbucks signature hot chocolate. So in, to be honest, when I go to a coffee shop, if it's between Costa and Starbucks, I'm always going for a Costa hot chocolate. But Starbucks is, is just as nice. I just prefer Costa. Because I feel like they do more flavors. So they do have a Costa powdered hot chocolate, but I haven't got that yet. But this is normally five pounds and it was on special for three pounds. So I thought, I would give this a go. To be fair, you do get a fair, like, big tub. So I'm gonna make that. I love that on there. Right. I'm hoping, because I'm going to, I'm gonna like, I love a hot chocolate at Christmas time. I've also got this one, but I'm sort of saving that for a bit later on in the year. Options? Is that how you pronounce it? Options. Hot chocolate. And it's the Belgium Choc. Is it praline? So I'm going to give that a go, but nearer to Christmas, I think. I just bought it early because there was actually only one left. Let me that just came off. Perfect. You can tell it's an expensive hot chocolate by the way the film comes off. Normally you're like tugging at it and it's ripping. That literally came off perfectly. And it is, to be fair, quite a sealed jar. So hopefully this way, this will last a while. Not be going, it smells amazing. I was literally just be, just about to be like, you smell. And it's filled near on to the top. So you do get a fair amount, to be honest. The dangerous thing is, is if this is amazing, I'm gonna wanna get it all the time. I'm not paying five pounds for it. The Costa one I think is like three pound 95, but I will say the jar is like very small and like, it's a lot slimmer than this. I put three, table, uh, three teaspoons. I wouldn't say they were heaped. Right, let's pop this in. I normally start with just a little bit in my cup so it melts all the powder. And oh no, it's not too hot. Wait.
is a bit disappointing actually. Well, like, it doesn't have much flavour to it. I tried this. My I tried my Starbucks hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really taste of anything. Mix another teaspoon in because it doesn't really taste of like it doesn't taste of chocolate. I'm just gonna put in another one of these and stir in the cream. Hmm. What we'll do is in a couple of days, we'll try again and we'll make it purely with milk because that just, it's not very good. Time for our little quote of the day. Let's have a look. Oh, chilly. You're doing better than you think you are. A hundred percent. I think it's very easy. I think most people, never really realize how good they're doing or how much progress they're making people don't give themselves enough credit half the time i was literally saying to this to my friend the other day people don't it's just like because i think it's bad to like because it's like bigging themselves up and it's not it's just giving yourself credit when credit's due and everyone should be a bit kind to themselves we're all so focused on telling everybody else how good they're doing that we often forget to say it to ourselves when that's just as important so this is your little reminder that maybe just give yourself a little bit of credit because you're doing great thank you so much for watching today's vlog i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all tomorrow for i keep wanting to say vlogmas vlogtober day 11 bye